Hey guys, it's BNL. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we beat Brock, and now we're gonna proceed on. You can't pass by here, by the way, until you've beaten Brock. Um. Anyway, welcome to Route 3. You can catch Pidgey, Sparrow, and a new Pokemon called Jigglypuff here. Jigglypuff, he's a bit rare here, uh, but he's got a really good HP stat, and he evolves with the Moonstone, which means you can further evolve him really good. His defense is a little bit poor, though, and his moves set is really bad through leveling. I did not look at you. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, there's quite a few trainers in this battle, I'll say that. I think there's... Uh, yeah, there's quite a tr few trainers in this route. Uh, I believe there's eight of them. Uh, so watch out if, say... If, say, you'll find Pokemon that have really strong attacks for no reason. Um, by the way, uh, Psychic type is super effective against Poison type, which means that uh, Butterfree is actually kind of handy right now. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and uh, get Bulbasaur a bit more screen time. I'm also gonna try and catch a Sparrow because Sparrow will be great for uh, later in the game. Uh, don't try and use your Grass type attacks on a Flying type Pokemon. Jeez. Yeah, don't use Fine Whip. It's not as good as you think. I mean, it's a good move, but uh, even with the standard type attack same type attack bonus, it's weak against Pidgey and it's, it's not worth it. I am mean, yes. Um, I'm gonna switch up. Yeah, so don't worry about, um, about your opponent's levels. They're only gonna be about level 9, 10, pretty much the whole way. Really? Uh, by the way, in this game, they don't have, the trainers don't have names specifically, so you gotta kind of refer to them just as bug catcher and stuff. Um, in gold and stuff, in the next generation, all the trainers have names, which is kind of nice, because it sets them aside, and then they start ringing you on the phone, and it gets annoying about this guy and his Rattata, and his freaking Rattata! Also, bug type is supposedly super effective against grass type, but there's not really that many grass type bug type moves in the game. Seriously, like a good 15 of the moves are water type, it's ridiculous. Uh, Bulbasaur evolves at level 16, by the way, if you, any of you guys are wondering. Sweet. So Weedle's poison type, as well as bug type. Which means Confusion's gonna kill it. This is, this is why Confusion is so good. And that, that's the problem with grass type, is that there's a lot of bug type trainers at the beginning. And you can't really do anything about that. Um, I guess I'll switch back to Bubba, because I will need the level. Um, th but these will be high level Pokemon, and because they're from trainers, it's great. See, this isn't going to do much, because it's not very effective. a shot and it's made out of string. Yeah, I should probably just use tackle. 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 That is that is how I speaketh. Okay, well I'll beat him again. Um ooh. I think I'll be okay for the next trainer. This person is infamous in the community. Just <laughs> shorts? Like, what? Anyway, this is a youngster. He has a Rattata. It's level 11. By the way, you're gonna notice that a lot of trainers will have Pokemon that should have evolved. For example, we were just fighting a level 10 Weedle and a level 10 Caterpie. If you're a normal person, that should be a Beedrill and a Butterfree by now. By the way, yeah, you've probably... If, you, if you've got a Weedle, it should probably be a Beedrill by now. No level, no level. Uh, I'm gonna change up. This is Ekans, he's a, he's a newer Pokemon. Ekans got some decent stats. Kinda sucks though. Uh, he's also a red exclusive, so thankfully, 
Thank you, look, we get Sandshrew, you get Ekans. It's a fair deal. No, Ekans really sucks, actually. And he's also Poison type. Poison Sting, no! By the way, Poison Sting is super effective against Bug. Poison is super effective against Bug. Uh, poison Sting has a chance of dealing, of inflicting you with poison, which is not good. Uh, poison not only hurts you every turn, by the way, but it also hurts you outside battle. So for every step I take, he loses 1 HP, or I think every 4 steps. It gets annoying. In later games, I, and I think even uh, Diamond and Pearl, I think, uh, if your Pokemon reaches 1 HP as he's poisoned, as in, he won't die, which is nice. He'll, he'll cure himself of the poison as, as he reaches 1 HP outside of battle, which is nice. In black and white, they just make it so easy, they don't deal damage outside battle, so it basically makes poison useless. <laughs> or it makes it, it makes it really harmless, um, which is kind of bad. By the way, that's going to be the only new Pokemon for a while. We're going to be fighting quite a lot of trainers along this road. Here's another one. There's one down there. I am a trainer. So this is a bug catcher. He wants to fight. He's got a Weedle. Go Bubba. Bubba. I'm just going to tackle him. Bulbasaur's got a decent attack. By the way, your starter is one of the best Pokemon in the game. Uh, Poison Sting, that's... Actually, no, it's not. Uh, yeah, your starter is one of the best Pokemon in the game, hands down. No matter which one you choose, they'll all have... There you go. They'll all have really good stats. They'll all learn some pretty decent moves. Uh, Kakuna. Uh, no, no, Kakuna's okay. Ah, oh, of course. You can just, you can just, like, feel how... Oh, thanks. By the way, I think a critical hit skip, uh, it doesn't calculate through increased stats. So say your opponent uses Hardened a lot. If you get a critical hit, that will completely go past his defense up. But I also think it goes past positive benefits. So say you reduce his defense, it won't apply it if you reduce this defense. I think. Text on the side will correct me. You may be wondering why I'm sticking to Bubba. Also, this guy should have had... Actually, they're all level 9. He should have had two Metapods and two Kakunas. And he shouldn't have this move set. It's dreadful. It is absolutely terrible. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope we can evolve, which is our next level. Should we? Ah, uh, dang, I miss. I hate missing. You don't miss as much in later games. Ah, uh, no, le no level. Ah, uh, if he had new Pokemon, he would have won. And say so he's stuck with a Metapod. Uh, I'm going to switch to Bugaboon here for a second, because I think it's this person here. I'm not wearing shorts! Oh! Oh! No one told me! Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is the guy. This guy here has a level 14 Spearow. This is why I wanted to make sure I'm not... I'm not using a grass type because I'm a little bit afraid that he's gonna use something like Peck. Jeez, confusion is good. Confusion is so good. All the psychic type moves in this game are extremely powerful. It's ridiculous. Cause they all use your special stat, and just all of the special stat Pokemons are really good. Uh so yeah. That wasn't the best demonstration of Sparrow, by the way. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can actually beat all these trainers, there's three more of them, and they don't really get any more difficult. It's a lass! Hey, we lass here. Oh, I really should have switched out, actually. Because how much has Bubba got to the next level? 96! Oh, he's not going to level up if I switch. 
Well, maybe he will, maybe he will. No, he's level 10, he's level 10, he's not gonna do it. Ooh, Quick Attack, that's a new move. Basically, what Quick Attack does is that it, it hurts more than Tackle, and it also increases your speed for that turn temporarily. Which basically means you will attack first, usually. Yeah, I was a bit afraid of that. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna tank it for a little bit because I am just about to level up. There's a Nidoran male. I'm gonna switch out the bugaboo. There we go. Ah, horn attack. Horn attack is a bit of an annoying move. Thankfully, he's poison type. <laughs> Thankfully, he's not that bad. And, oh, Bugaboom leveled up. Here we go! Bubber is level 16, which means... I have to be nice. And, here we go. Yeah! Bubber is now an Ivysaur. Great. Uh, so let's see. We got a guy here. We've got some grass here, but I'm not gonna try and catch the sparrow until a little bit later. Um, this guy's gonna send out a uh, caterpie, I believe. Yep. Oh, you know what? Actually, I should do. I should. I should show you Bubba's stats. Look at his stats. They're so good now. Um. So yeah. Ivysaur is pretty good, and the best part is that, uh, is that, um, I believe Charizard and Blastoise, you have to evolve, by the way, the evolutions of, um, of the, uh, other starters, Charmander evolves into Charmeleon at this level, and Squirtle evolves into Wartortle at this level. However, Wartortle evolves into Blastoise at level 36, and Charmeleon evolves into Charizard at level 36. However, Ivysaur evolves into Venusaur at level 32, which makes that kind of nice. Uh, we won't be getting up to level 32 for quite a while, though. I think maybe third, fourth gym. So don't worry about that. But they do require you to level up really quickly at the beginning. I'm just gonna leech seed him. Also, by the way, Bubba's health. Oh gosh, Bubba's health. Look at that. That's good. You know what's the worst part? I can't use Vine Whip. I would really like to use Vine Whip right now. Well, it's not gonna be good if I use it against a Metapod. However, even with him hardening a lot, it's still. You know, he's, he's going down. By the way, there will be a part where... There will be a point where you can't harden anymore. You can't increase your stat or reduce it you know, anymore. Um, which is good. Done like dinner! Wait, what? Uh, so we can catch a Sparrow in here, but there's one more trainer before the... Uh, this game's a kid game, right? Damn lasses. Uh, this is Jigglypuff, by the way. Look at it, it's like a marshmallow, it's like Kirby. Except one of his eyes is black and one of them is pink. By the way, you'll notice that like every sprite in this game has like four colors. Except this one has white as well. But you'll notice that like on the overworld, there's only like four colors being used. Jeez, yeah. Jigglypuff, his defense, oh, his HP is really big. His, H his defense isn't that high. But it's HP, goodness. And here we go. Finally, I got a status element. I'm asleep. Now he's gonna use the Sable, except I didn't use an attack. Uh, so, Sing puts you asleep. Sleep basically means that you will get hit. Uh, you, sorry, you will be unable to attack for the next few turns. However, sleep does fix itself after a while. Pound is a little bit stronger than tackle, but it's, it's not that bad. Uh, Disable basically stops you, your move, the last move, or one of your moves, from working, uh, for a bit of time. Wow, Bugaboom, you're like, you needed your rest, didn't you? 
Unfortunately, disable only works like once at a time. So you can't have two moves disabled. Oh gosh, don't sing again, please. There you go. It's quite a bit of experience, 228. That was it, yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Anyway, if you keep progressing on, you will find yourself... You will find yourself... Oh, Jesus, this place is long. Anyway, this guy's like... This guy's like, I'll take a rest. A tunnel from Cerulean. You know what's the worst part? When you get outside the other end, you can't come back. There's a ledge that you jump off and you can't come back after you exit this cave coming up. At least for now. Anyway, there's a Pokemon Center here, which is nice. You tripped over a Geodude. How odd, you can't get a Geodude here. Um, anyway, I think we may have entered actually uh, Route 4, which actually comes up afterward. Uh, thankfully there is nothing really to pick up here, but it is kind of interesting that, anyway, he has six Pokeballs, you can only carry six up. Uh, what are you talking to? It's always in the news. What about you, Mr. Old Man? Yes! Don't, don't give up this offer, because you can't come back here for a while. You will want a Magikarp. Magikarp is really good. However, I will be using a different water type Pokemon by the end of the game, but Magikarp, goodness, he's good. Uh, I shall call him... Dragon Man. Actually, I'll put a space in there. Dragon Man. <laughs> even though, even though he does not become Dragon type, but he was planned to be Dragon type. Magic up. Yeah, he's a fish. Yeah, his stats are low. Yeah, he's level five. Yeah, yeah, and like Splash. And Splash does nothing. It just says, like, literally, the attack does nothing. So you may be wondering, why am I using him? Because coming up is something that's really nice. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll find a Sparrow somewhere. I just want to get a Sparrow before we head into Mount Moon, which will start next part, I guess. Um, I will run away. Music's nice. This game has pr some pretty nice music. He has a sparrow. He's level six, which means he's really weak. <laughs> Dang it. Um, so confusion. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. You killed him. Got a critical as well. Thank you. Thank you. I really need that. Uh, fortunately, sparrow has a 40% chance of appearing, so he's not that rare. Like, yeah, here's another one. I would have preferred a higher level, but I don't know actually what level you can find these guys at. Please don't kill him. Oh, it just kills him normally, okay. Did I say Sparrow has good defense? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, he has another Sparrow. Maybe he's a higher level. Still six! What is this? Uh, we'll tackle him. I don't trust him anymore. Oh, come on! Why is he giving me all the crits now? <laughs> oh, gosh. Now it's gonna be like, okay, we'll stop the crits, but we won't give you a sparrow anymore. It's gonna be like that, isn't it? Where's a Pidgey? He's also level 6. Oh, gosh. Pidgey. I seem to get my information wrong. I seem to say that Spiro, that Pidgey appears 50% of the time and Sparrow appears 40%. It's apparently an even 45 split. Well, there goes the error in my notes. Yay. 
Also, according to Bulbapedia, they should appear between level 5 and 8. And he's always... Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, because I'm a bug. Pokeball, go! He knows Peck. Peck is a flying-type move. It's super effective against bug. That, that went better than the Caterpie. Wow. He is a tiny bird. Eats bugs and grassy areas. It has to flap its short wings at high speed to stay airborne. Uh, which I call, um... Birdo. Because why not? I mean, we got Bugaboom, Dragon Man, Bubba, and Birdo. <laughs> Yeah, this this totally doesn't seem like a misfit party. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna enter the Pokemon Center, and I'm gonna end the part off here. I'm actually gonna train up Sparrow a bit. I'm gonna try and get him up to level 10. Uh, he's not going to evolve for a while, so don't worry. I believe he evolves at like 20, 20. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys next time when we'll continue on with the cave. See you guys then.